Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 2020-2021 Senior High School Commencement Exercises of Florentino Galang Senior National High School. The Faculty Ma'am Gracie P. Alagao, School Principal Ma'am Lani P. Figueroa, Senior High School Academic Trap Coordinator Ma'am Maria Juji P. Besa, Senior High School TVL Trap Coordinator Channel 
western Visayan blue skies The cradle of hope for the young ones lies Sows the seed of love and zest for life With real vision a beacon light Give the song alive in our hearts Song of the great western desires Echoing the love and pride of years gone by The region's banner proudly held
mater, Florentino Galang Senior National High School, taught us the values we need in order for us to face our future without fear. We would like to thank those who worked hard in organizing this event. Our graduation is even more memorable because you have spent time and efforts to ensure that we will have a meaningful ceremony despite of this pandemic. To our beloved teachers, thank you so much for all the knowledge and lessons you have shared with us. To our parents, thank you for working hard to give us good education. We are so blessed to have you all. And most of all, thank you Lord for all your blessings. And so, my dear parents, honored guests, in behalf of this graduating class of 2020-2021, it is my pleasure to welcome you as you witness this virtual graduation ceremony. To my fellow graduates, I wish you all the best and good luck for the incoming years. May the years to come be kind to all of us and may God bless us all. Thank you. Orsha M. Mallorca, SESO 5, Schools Division Superintendent. I have the honor to present to you the candidates for graduation for the school year 2020-2021. For academic track, we have 63 males and 127 females for a total of 190. For the technical, vocational, and livelihood track, we have 147 male and 100 females for a total of 247. They all completed and passed their requirements for the secondary education sets by the Department of Education. Greetings to all who are present today. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Secretary of Education, Honorable Yonor Magtolis Brayunes, through the Regional Director of Region 6 Western Visayas, Dr. Ramir Barbiran Oitiko, and by the Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Portia Mission Mallorca, upon the recommendation of the school head, Gricey P. Alagao, I. Nelly E. Garotti, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent of the Schools Division of Cabancalan City, hereby confirm the graduation of these 437 candidates, 210 of whom are males, and 237 are females. Based on their records, they have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the K-12 basic education curriculum for senior high school. And as such, they are entitled to all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations, senior high school graduates of Florentino Galang Senior National High School Batch 2021. Accountancy, Business and Management. Bakil Renante P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Federico Bakil. Centenales John Luis C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rico Centenales. Medes Levy J., son of Mr. and Mrs. Leonardo Medes. Samorano Samuel Jr. M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Samorano Sr. Abinke Sherlyn May A., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Elpedio Abenke, with honors. Baldado Eva May P., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Modi Baldado, with honors. Borjos Mary Ann M., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alejandro Borjos, with honors. Binarao Jane Rose G., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rex Binarao, with honors. Kabunag Junlin A., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. R.G. Kabunag, with honors. Kahara Charity Iarish V., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rinaldo Kahara, with honors. Kaliora Jessamay P., the 
daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Caliora, with honors. Kapangpangan Irish Babe P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Onohario Kapangpangan, with honors. Kasiple Ruela R, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Orgen Kasipke. Katiban Roselyn M, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nestor Katiban, with honors. Cervantes Rosalyn E, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Zosimo Cervantes, with honors. Colagnos Ann Zyrel P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Azarel Colagnos, with honors. Desoy Jenny Rose P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jimboy Desoy, with honors. Dumala Kimberly B, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Dumala, with honors. Gonzalez Yoli May G, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Gonzalez. Hermogenes Rosemary T, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roy Hermogenes. Langi Stephanie Kate R, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romulo Langi, with honors. Lion Jer Jeril R, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Francisco Lion, with honors. Prieto Geraldine B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Tito John Prieto, with honors. Romano Cherry May G, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Benji Romano, with honors. Romano Mary Grace M, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edmondo Romano, with honors. Sambilad Mary Jane Y, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Sambilad. Sancho Mary Rose P, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ronaldo Sancho, with honors. Sapanza Elizabeth, the daughter of Miss Ronella Sapanza, with honors. Tokong Anne Marie M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alex Tokong, with honors. Vicente Josie Myra A, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edison Vicente, with honors. Villa Stephanie F, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo Villa, with honors. Humanities and Social Sciences. Kaiso Kier John N, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Jocelyn and Kaiso, with honors. Johnson Jezreel M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Judith M. Johnson. Emperado Fernand A, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Mildred A. Emperado. Indonilia Limwell D, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Loretta D. Indonilia. Labindao James L, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Helen L. Labindao. Pakulanang Don Ronel John A, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Nida A. Pakulanang, with honors. Torino Rogelio Jr. R, son of Mr. and Mrs. Elsie R. Torino. Trinidad Jero A, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Macandonieta A. Trinidad. Oseha Al Kenneth, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Oseha. Abahado Janelle B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jinky B. Abahado. Abanilia Cheney B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rachel B. Abanilia. Arante Ruby L. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Josefa L. Arante, with honors. Bolivar May Ann C., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gracie Bolivar. Cabadon Mary Joy C., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Tessie C. Cabadon, with honors. Campoy Mika Grace F., the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lori F. Campoy, with honors. Kanunoy Hazel M, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Remy M. Kanunoy, with honors. Kanunoy Widian, 
B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Benaventura B. Panunong, with honors. Castel Angeline T, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lenny T. Castel, with honors. Chavez Jeremy A, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Maria Fe A. Chavez, with honors. Elban Buena Nena C, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Narda T. Elban Buena. Incargas Arian T, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph and T. Incargas, with honors. Espanola Claudine Meiji O, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Janeline O. Espanola, with honors. Gallego Beverly P, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Bernadette P. Gallego. Gomez Thresha May B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Chudora B. Gomez, with honors. Gumban Chamaiki, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nena G. Gumban. Labadia Cherry May P, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lori May P. Labadia, with honors. Langreyo Allen Joy E, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Merlin E. Langreyo, with honors. Lucinio Jerlin M, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Janeline M. Lucinio. Molenio Mitch B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Hanami B. Molenio, with honors. Pandak Mary Ann B, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gemma B. Pandak. With honors, Romano Kim Joy, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Hazel Romano. Sevilio Edge Rose E, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Angie E. Sevilio. Tagalugon Blessed Hope C, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Juliet C. Tagalugon. Trinidad Cheryl D. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Flora Midi Trinidad. Yonson J. Ann Yu. The daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Aniseta Yu Yonson. Akol Carl Anthony L. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey Akol. Alahada Ramon Jr. P. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Ramon Alahada Sr. With honors. Kadavid Christian Paul O, son of Mr. and Mrs. Chris Polo Kadavid. Carmelino Joel T, son of Mr. and Mrs. Philemon Carmelino. Claro Warren J, son of Mr. and Mrs. Ian Boy Claro. Gonzalez John Paul A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Mamerto Gonzalez. With honors, Haravelo Jesse M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Edito Haravelo. Meliendez David G, son of Mr. and Mrs. Debbie John Meliendez. With honors, Montesino Kyle L, son of Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Montesino. Ketchon Alex B. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Pablo Quechon, with honors. Salan Ramises E, son of Mr. and Mrs. Zusimo Salan. Torriales Renz S, son of Mr. and Mrs. Renner Torriales. Aguyo Amy Rose B, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalito Aguyo, with honors. Alipater Jessa S, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Alipater, with honors. Alipater Merli S, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Alipater, with honors. Aliponso Hanili M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Armando Aliponso, with honors. Arcaliano Rufa May M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Arcaliano. With honors, Arroyo Charmaine B, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Shem Arroyo. With honors, Artusilia Jessel V, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jesus Artusilia Jr. With honors, 
Balansag Mary Rose G., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Balansag, with honors. Bariga Lady May C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo Bariga Sr., with high honors. Buyayot Mariel D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Buyayot, with honors. Buyayot Sheila May B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Buyayot, with honors. Campos IVP, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Campos, with honors. The Git Sherlyn Joy R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Sarlito De Git, with honors. Del Mundo Eliaren L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Elizar Del Mundo. Egles Jessa D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Demetrio Egles, with honors. Florine Regin G., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nomeriano Florin, with honors. Luciano Blessed Shane C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. and Essential Luciano Jr. Mabacchiao Mariel S., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arnel Mabacchiao Sr., with honors. Oranio Rosel G., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Oranio, with honors. Pagayunan Alia M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Novo Pagayunan, with honors. Recibido Florimay R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Vicento Recibido, with honors. Servida Drea May M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodrigo Servidad, with honors. Susas Angelica M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Helera Susas, with honors. Tugonon Lady Michelle L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roberto Tugonon. Zyko Christine Marie R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Julito Zyko, with high honors. Buntigao Brian, son of Mr. and Mrs. Felix Berto Buntigao, with honors. Kalasara Clyde Reinhardt, son of Mr. and Mrs. Cleo Kalasara. Kandare Rick Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rick Kandare Sr., with honors. Cargenti Franklin, son of Mr. and Mrs. Paul Connery Cargente. Espanola Rayan, son of Mr. and Mrs. Anselmo Espanola, with honors. Lima Alexis Gear, son of Mr. and Mrs. Carmelino Lima, with honors. Muscoso Wilfrey, son of Miss Rosalie Muscoso, with honors. Papasin Jesser, son of Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo Papasin, with honors. Pisga Dexter, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jonesho Pisga. Sabares Errol J., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Sabares. Villarino Christian, son of Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Villarino. Vallejo Danby, son of Mr. and Mrs. Berle Vallejo. Alahada Christine, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ramon Alahada. Barangyao Loren, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Lomer Barangyao. Barcenal Lenny, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jomari Barcenal. Barcoma Rica, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ramon Barcoma, with honors. Cadayona Salvi Faith, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Peddy Cadayona. Panke Lizel, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Panke Sr., with honors. Kapinig Treximé, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edgar Kapinig. Carquevas Arian Bell, daughter of Miss Annabel Carquevas. 
Casillo Wenjelin, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wenji Casillo, with honors. Castro Sharon May, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edgardo Castro, with honors. Dumala Kinney, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Dumala, with honors. Española Diana Rose, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Dante Española, with honors. Heradora Crizel Jade, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. David Son Heradora. Handumon Roslyn, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Handumon, with honors. Leonardo Elvera, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Eduardo Leonardo, with honors. Likailikai Winilin, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo Likailikai, with honors. Lingamen Erika, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Richard Lingamen. Lumanog Arian, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arnel Lumanog, with honors. Mateo Jonabel, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joven Mateo. Obligar Kristen Joy, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nolly Obligar, with honors. Obligar Zaliame, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Benito Obligar, with honors. Pestania Celian May, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Feliciano Pestanias, with honors. Rivera Juvelin, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Rivera, with honors. Rodriguez Jelin, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Raul Rodriguez, with honors. Sumagaysay Marie Kay, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Efren Sumagaysay, with honors. Sumuroy Pulin, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Philemon Sumuroy, with honors. Tomentos Jasmine, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nestor Tomentos, with honors. Villagracia Mariafe, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto Villagracia, with honors. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Alahada June P., son of Mr. Ramon Alahada Sr. Andrada Rodzel T., son of Mrs. Cheryl Robetti. Bediosas John Spurt B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rogelio S. Bediosas. Besas Al J G, son of Mr. and Mrs. Alex Besas, with honors. Brillantes Justin M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Norberto Brillantes. Camasa Ricardo Jr. R, son of Mr. and Mrs. Ricardo Camasa Sr. Canunoy Alvin J C, son of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio M Canunoy Jr with honors. Cancelier Willie Jr. E, son of Mr. and Mrs. Willie P. Cancelier Sr., with honors. Carpentero Renly M., son of Mrs. Julia M. Montesino. Colingo Christian Angelo, son of Mrs. Arlene Colingo. Flores Ralph Vincent V, son of Mrs. Sharon V. Flores. Galanto LG Boy C, son of Mr. Isaac Galanto, with honors. Hesona Stevin N, son of Mr. Juanito Hesona. Gonzalez John Kenneth E, son of Mr. and Mrs. Rene M. Gonzalez. Graho Jericho C., son of Mrs. Jocelyn C. Graho. Luces Eduardo T., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rafael M. Luces. Mahipos Roy Manuel G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Vilma G. Mahipos, with honors.
Monteras Daniel F., son of Mr. and Mrs. Justado C. Monteras. Pobreza Winnie N., son of Mr. and Mrs. Elvis P. Pobreza Sr., with honors. Sanchez Haji M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Sanchez. Servando Nestor Jr. M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Nestor P. Servando Sr., with honors. Tarusan Gremar M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Greg D. Tarusan, with honors. Vito Shalwin John R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Salvador M. Vito. U. Alexander F., son of Mrs. Maybelline F. U. Aplacador Danica M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Elisar M. Aplacador, with honors. Bakay Kyla S., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Q. Bakay, with honors. Bagak Aina Alia G., daughter of Mrs. Elma G. Bagak, with honors. Cabardo Jean C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Noli Cabardo, with honors. Cayetano Renalin, daughter of Mrs. Lenny E. Cayetano, with honors. Hinobio Ann Kresel M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Hinobio. Gundao Ria Joy J., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ricky Gundao. Inayan Jessa L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Juanito Inayan, with honors. Halapa Darden May D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ruel F. Halapa. Magbanwa Luji May L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Luji A. Magbanwa, with honors. Magwate Cecil A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Cesar Magwate. Mahinay Angelos D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Angelo C. Mahinay, with honors. Malakapay Yuli A., daughter of Mrs. Connie A. Malakapay. Nabalitan Serian B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ray Nabalitan, with honors. Ukat J. Ann E., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Andrevi E. Ukat. With honors. Oliva Sharin T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Oliva. With honors. Pasunting Eva V., daughter of Mrs. Nena P. Tebia. With honors. Perikin Midzero C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joel C. Perikin. With honors. Tanelon Ariana Jane S. Daughter of Mrs. Emmy Carollo, with honors. Agricrop Production. Alfonso Jomari, son of Mr. and Mrs. Freddy A. Alfonso. Monte Alegre Gino J., son of Mr. and Mrs. Leonardo R. Monte Alegre. Moreno Vengetti. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Barvin T. Moreno. Oxima Ron John N. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Jonas R. Oxima. Pialago Junel F. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Lebrado P. Pialago. Beloya Jelona M. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Humphrey E. Beloya. With honors. Bigno Flordelen L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Bigno. De Los Santos Jocelyn May M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Robert De Los Santos. De La Serna Erla May J., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Eliezer De La Serna. De Geet Melka M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Roger De Geet. Diocampo Reynad G, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ray M. Diocampo. 
Eleodora Julian A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arcadio Eleodora. Flores J. Antti, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Cecilio Flores. Gantalao Maria May L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Wilfredo Gantalao, with honors. Ignacio Roseland C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ruby Ignacio. Makapobre Wilmy A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William O. Makapobre, with honors. Montero Mariel B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joby G. Montero, with honors. Monteser Janice L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ruben Monteser. Regine Merlinda E., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rodrigo Regine. Rioja Jenny Ann F., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jumedes Rioja. Romano Josa C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joel P. Romano. Sildora Maribel P., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Edmond M. Sildora. Viajante Mika Jean M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Salvador Viajante. Villanueva Arlene D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Armand Villanueva, with honor. Animal Production Benzuela Philip G.R.A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Felipe Benzuela. Calvo Jr. Rudolfo M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rudolfo Calvo. Diaz Emmanuel B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Andres Diaz. Indonelia Nick D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Nicanor Indonelia. Labindao John Kenneth S., son of Mr. and Mrs. Bernardo Labindao. Laparan Francis John P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Teodoro Laparan. Mabayag Journal B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Mabayag. Makapobre Full G.E., son of Mr. and Mrs. Floriano Makapobre. Mayordomo Mark D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Godofredo Mayordomo. Melmida James C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Moises Melmida. Nario Arnie E., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jufilo Nario. Navarro RGB, son of Mr. and Mrs. Absidi Navarro. Oliveros Ismael M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Gary Omero, with honors. Plasio Raymar K., son of Mr. and Mrs. Elsa Plasio. Ramirez Justine P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Ramirez. Ramirez Richan R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Richard Ramirez. Rigalia Leonard Vince A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Leopoldo Rigalia. Roloki Victor P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Marlo Palma. Salvan Raymolo Jr. H. Sante Jr. Perlito P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Perlito Sante. Sapuan Lloyd L. Servando Mark Philip B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Felipe Servando. Seveliejo Randy B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rodney Seveliejo. Valiente Sami C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ernesto Valiente, with honors. 
Abbas Elder Grace L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Elizar Abbas, with honors. Bakil Angelica B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Ramil Bakil, with honors. Descorson Hanelaine C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Fernando Descorson, with honors. Fermiza Justin L., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Evan Fermeza, with honors. Gaspar Isel Andi, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Gaspar, with honors. Ramirez Rodelin T., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Raul Ramirez. Tambalo Jochelle Ann R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Tambalo, with honors. Aguilar Jade C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Aguilar. Alvarez Crisilogi, son of Mr. and Mrs. Locrecio Alvarez. Arpal Rande Jr. M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rande Sr. Arpal. Bakil Reni J.C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ramil Bakil. Barili Archie D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Artemio Barili. Benzuela Jantrix A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Benzuela. Kamral Ray on M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Rolly Kamral. Sernal Yunil John D, son of Mr. and Mrs. Eugene Sernal. Dayanan Jose Jr. C, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Sr. Dayanan. De La Torre Lynn Dion C, son of Mr. and Mrs. Janesho De La Torre. Habagat Jairi G, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jonald Habagat, with honors. Luces Efren Jr. R, son of Mr. and Mrs. Efren Sr. Luces. Malagsik Jumedel D, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jomari Malagsik. Mandaget Justine C, son of Mr. and Mrs. Achilles Mandaget. Minasalvas Ornel Mar S, son of Mr. and Mrs. Cornelio Minasalvas. Panugan Reco John H, son of Mr. and Mrs. Renato Panugan. Pondador Edsel O, son of Mr. and Mrs. Edwin Pondador. Radan Marlo M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Radan. Recibido Carl Chester Vincent R, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vicente Recibido. Remigio Junri O, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vergilio Remigio. Sanchez Rod Jun A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Ronald Sanchez. Shaya Larry L, son of Mr. and Mrs. Romeo Traya. Bakil Jenny H, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Albert Bakil, with honors. Celine Lucille P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Luciano Celine. Dio Ana May T, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Pablo Dio. Garol Rosemary D, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Vicente Garol. Jimenez Pinky G, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Romulo Jimenez. Medes Jeremy R, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rolando Medes. Mondido Lizelle M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Simplicio Mondido, with honors. Puso Shinon A, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felipe Puso. Ramirez Rovalin T, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Raul Ramirez. 
Chongko Irene Ann, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Prudencio Chongko. Vergara Maria Shara Fe P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felix Vergara, with honors. Carpentry. Acohedo Jason, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vilma Acohedo. Basa de Elmar, son of Mr. and Mrs. Maria Lina Basa. Besas Kimbert, son of Mr. and Mrs. Annalie Besas. Caballo John Rod, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jocelyn Caballo. Cesar Janelle, son of Mr. and Mrs. Melda Cesar. Galio Joben, son of Mr. and Mrs. Carmelina Galio. Garupil Marvin, son of Mr. and Mrs. Mildred Garupil. Libuon Ronel, son of Mr. and Mrs. Shirley Libuon. Lirazan Joey, son of Mr. and Mrs. Marceliza Lirazan. Magbanwa Aser, son of Mr. and Mrs. Marisa Magbanwa. Manzano John Mark, son of Mr. and Mrs. Mary Jean Manzano. Marceliana Raymart, son of Mr. and Mrs. Wilma Marceliana. Minasalvas Jr. Federico, son of Mr. and Mrs. Elena Minasalvas. Monteras Edzel, son of Mr. and Mrs. Victoriano Monteras. Nofable Kenneth John, son of Mr. and Mrs. Grace Nofable. Paran Jr. Pedro, son of Mr. and Mrs. Francisca Paran. Rivera Jesser, son of Mr. and Mrs. Nemia Rivera. Rodolfa Jr. Romeo, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jocelyn Rodolfa. Cookery Antigos John Allen M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Alan R. Antigos. Kaliao John Ray F., son of Mr. and Mrs. Juby S. Kaliao. Colon Frederick Gregory G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Al Fernando M. Colon Jr. Jelaso Dave Arthur Brian A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Arturo S. Jelaso Sr. Garcinilla Carlos C., son of Mr. and Mrs. Charlie J. Garcinella. Garces Godfrey M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Fernando T. Garces. Malakapay Rollin Mark G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Ronsom J. Malakapay. Pakulanang Edmund E. Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Edmund S. Pakulanang Sr. Sabusap Rocky S., son of Mr. and Mrs. Roger G. Sabusap. Siplo Rosendo L. Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rosendo C. Siplo Sr. Libunsay J. Paul P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Eladio M. Libunsay. Almonia Erica Jade A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Renante N. Almonia. Bantige Will Jane V., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Welbert M. Bantige. Bulfa Maria Rochelle E., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Rolly S. Bulfa. Dilobio Lizelle Jean C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alan A. Dilobio. Lagini Jimsel D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Junie L. Lagini. Linia Rona May G., 
daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Elizalde A. Dino Sr. Maraca Estela Macy, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Maximiano B. Maraca. Patolada Angeline B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Amid T. Patolada, with honors. Tabuga Micaela B., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Resendo P. Tabuga Jr., with honors. Intong Emeline R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Loshano P. Intong. Arellano Julius, son of Mr. and Mrs. Raymond B. Arellano. Cardenas Press John, son of Mr. and Mrs. Priscilla P. Cardenas. De Baguio Jerry, son of Mr. and Mrs. Arnolfo P. De Baguio. Faustino Selmer John. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Edward Alex T. Faustino. Muzones Pascual John, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jumel T. Muzones. Kintoya Rex, son of Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo Sr. B. Omero. Ricania Eric, son of Mr. and Mrs. Eusebio D. Ricania. Sarsuelo Jared, son of Mr. and Mrs. Judem C. Sarsuelo. Tribunsay June Re, son of Mr. and Mrs. Francisco Tribunsay, with honors. Ventura Danny Boy, son of Mr. and Mrs. Munina Ventura. Arsenio April, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Crestitito. Q. Arsenio Camancho Jona May, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan E. Camancho Chavez Crisel, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alexander G. Chavez, with honors Chua Shera, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Julito P. Chua, with honors Gonzalez Melka Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Charles D. Gonzalez. Libetario Mika, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Reynold A. Libetario. Nares Micaela, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Arturo C. Nares. Panganuron Kim Andrea, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Michael R. Panganuron, with honors. Plenago Pressel, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Graciano C. Plenago, with honors. Serenilio Jarime, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Erlinda Romano. Villa Carlos Riza, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Reynaldo V. Villa Carlos, with honors. Computer System Servicing. Aquilar Jundi V, son of Mr. and Mrs. Eva V. Aquilar. B. By John Paul S, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jesus V. B. By, with honors. Serna J. Mar R, son of Mr. and Mrs. Herman L. Serna. Emperado R. G. M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vergelio Emperado. N. Manuel John Kenneth P., son of Mr. and Mrs. John E. N. Manuel. Ortega Julie V., son of Mr. and Mrs. Julie Ortega. Resta Alvin, son of Mr. and Mrs. Annalyn E. Resta. Velez John Mark D., son of Mr. and Mrs. Almon A. Velez. Aguilar Klofni Kuka S, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Alfredo T. Aguilar Jr., with honors. Abit Mary George Rose T, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. George A. Abit. Alfonso Rossi M, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Pablito N. Alfonso, with honors. Badonio Esther B, 
Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio S. Badonio Sr. with honors. Cagas Mary Joy P., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joel M. Cagas, with honors. The Yudai Jenny Rose I., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy T. The Yudai. Ibanez Jean D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Ibanez. Filomino Kyla. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Griselda A. Filomino, with honors. Galanto Novelin C. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Isaac Galanto. Garcia Gina L. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joel C. Garcia. Gasataya Angeline T. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Anesito T. Gasataya, with honors. Gulisao Riza Jane A., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Marcelino T. Gulisao. Haboneta Maymay Rose C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joren S. Haboneta. Moga Maisel D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Bimboy A. Moga, with honors. Samson Ronalyn M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Geraldo Samson. Fernandez Albert H., son of Mr. and Mrs. Alex B. Fernandez. Jimenez Rocky G., son of Mr. and Mrs. Romulo C. Jimenez, with honors. Larboneta John Arnell S., son of Mr. and Mrs. Arnell S. Larboneta, with honors. Obligar Adrian M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Emilito A. Obligar. Rekentosa Vincent B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Alejandro L. Rekentosa. Sabanal Hernan P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Porferio A. Sabanal. Saison Ike Sir Prince L., son of Mr. and Mrs. Exiquel C. Saison, with honors. Tabancura Devon P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Anthony O. Tabancora. Tejamo Journey Kim A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry P. Tejamo. Valdez Jasmar F, son of Mr. and Mrs. Joe Mart T. Valdez. Barcelona Cindy L, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jacinto R. Barcelona. Bitoon Pauline Joy A. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Paul P. Bitoon, with honors. Borromeo Jasmine Alessandra Nicole, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Nomenio Hensanio Jr., with honors. Cagas Mary May P., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Joel M. Cagas, with honors. Degit Camille S., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Carlito G. Degit Sr., Emperado Jaira May C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio S. Emperado. Emperado Maricel M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Virgilio A. Emperado, with honors. Habagat Ira D., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry N. Habagat Sr. Paborada Mary Jean C., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Remy G. Paborada. Placer Lemrose M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Golem E. Placer. Salgado Joselle H., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jomari A. Salgado, with honors. Tagay Saibel R., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Vicente T. Tagay Sr. Dressmaking Alfonso Alma M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Pabdito Alfonso, with honors. Campos Nina I., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Benito Campos. Cuberos Lizel M., daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Freddy Cuberos, with honors. 
Dahil Dahil Joy Q, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Noni Dahil Dahil. Datuon Renaliza P, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Datuon. Ledesma Angelica C, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Danilo Ledesma. Moleta Roslyn H, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Zalde Moleta, with honors. Omandak Jennifer H, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Pedro Omandak, with honors. Acunla Marites E, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Jolito Pacunla. Recantusa Mariel C, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Recantosa. With honors, Rosales Jessa H, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jesse Rosales. Sabanal Arlene A, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jeboy Sabanal. Sarmiento Maylin C, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Leo Sarmiento. Tambong Jonabel O. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Jovi Tambong, with honors. Yales Yvonne C. Daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Walter Yales. Shielded Metal Arc Welding. Olympiping Joey E. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Olympiping. Andaya RGT. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Antonio T. Andaya. Benzuela J.A. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Jaime Benzuela. Boljano R.G.E. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Alberto Boljano. Canilio Ricky L. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Eusebio G. Canilio with honors. Kayao Elgin A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Edgar A. Kayao. Celine Mauro Jr. C. De La Linea Jason B, son of Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin De La Linea, with honors. Galileo Brerijo M, son of Mr. and Mrs. Fernando Galileo. Gonzales Junri D, son of Mr. and Mrs. Juanito Gonzales, with honors. Soreño Rolando E. Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Rolando P. Soreño Sr. Lino Alexander G, son of Mr. and Mrs. Alexander C. Lino Sr. Linio Evaristo Jr., son of Mr. and Mrs. Evaristo T. Linio Sr. Mapa RGM, son of Mr. and Mrs. Rodolfo Mapa. Merasol Keno R., son of Mr. and Mrs. Noel Merasol, with honors. Nietes Joseph A., son of Mr. and Mrs. Reynold A. Nietes. Nonato Rodito O. Pandak John Earl B. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Ampilito Pandak. Palmares Jack L. Son of Mr. and Mrs. Juanito Palmares. Pestañas Jeffrey S. Pilar Elejo A, son of Mr. and Mrs. Vicente Pilar. Pineda J.P., son of Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Pineda. Roberto John. Tebio Junald C. Toreno Jose Dante P, son of Mr. and Mrs. Jose Dante Sr. 
Tulbo Roger B., son of Mr. and Mrs. Roger B. Tulbo Sr. Vergara Martinez M., son of Mr. and Mrs. Teddy Vergara. My warmest congratulations to the class BATS 2020-2021. One quote says, The shaping of our own life is our own work. It is a thing of beauty or a thing of shame, as we ourselves make it. We lay the corner and add joint to joint. We give the proportion, we set the finish. It may be a thing of beauty and a joy of forever. God forgive us if we pervert our life from putting on its appointed glory. This is according to where? In this world we live in, choices are for free. High school life is a stage of preparation for your future. The four years plus two years is quite an ample time of knowing on what point you wanted to put your life, either on the shameful one or preferring on the beautiful side, yet transitions must be considered. Transition in our life are like white water rafting. You will encounter inevitable leaps from one season of life to the next. College to career, singleness to marriage, career to retirement, marriage to widowhood are all marked by uncertainty and insecurity. I know that each one of you is filled with white knuckle uncertainty about the future, most especially during this time of pandemic. You do not know what lies ahead of you and even do not know what you will be doing on the difficult, different leaps along as you are navigating on the many set of rapids in life. As the theme for graduation 2021 says, Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic, it is a light of hope to us that life's struggle has an ending. This institution, Florentino Galang Senior National High School, where you live for the past years, had been your guide, making you to navigate accordingly. And now, is the time for you to enjoy the success of your white water rafting experiences. Finally, please take this and carry this advice of David to his son Solomon. This is found in the book of First Chronicles, chapter twenty-eight, verse twenty. It says, "Be strong and courageous, and do it. Do not be afraid, and do not be dismayed." For the Lord God, even my God, is with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. To the bats of 2021, you'll have your fair share of tough transitions. But with God, in your, in your raft, you're not alone. Keep your eyes on the one who is navigating the rapids. He's taken a lot of others through before. Small waters are just waiting ahead. Congratulations and more power, but 2021. Congratulations to all our completers and graduates of batch 2021. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. To our distinguished guests, invited keynote speakers, local government officials, our city officials, barangay officials, education community partners, all the members of DEPED family, Post Division of Kabangalan City, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, today we celebrate another milestone for our sons and daughters as they traverse to complete the basic education through formal schooling. To the parents and members of the family of our 
completers, and graduates, a heartfelt gratitude and salutations to all of you. Your active engagement, collaborative involvement, and unstinted support for the education of your children are now very good. Thank you for the trust and confidence that you accord to the public school system as we provide quality basic education which is relevant and accessible to all. Thank you for being our partners to provide the teaching and learning processes which are unprecedented brought about by this pandemic. You are the best teachers of your children. We in the schools are second best next to you. To our beloved completers and graduates, today is your harvest time. Make the most of what you've learned from your teachers from your parents, and from your own life experiences. Your education journey doesn't end with this closing program. Yes, classes have ended, but education continues. Be guided by this year's graduation theme, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Sa ating sariling vita, kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Yes, put into practice, make it your way of life. To apply the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and habits that you've learned from the school, from your teachers, and also from your parents and your own life experiences. Let your thoughts words and actions reflect the quality of education as you manifest the strength in character. Be a model of excellence and defeat negativism, discouragement, and fear brought about by this pandemic. Quality is not always perfection. I strongly believe no one is perfect. But it is my life's philosophy that I will not allow imperfection to be my excuse and to stop me from doing what is good and what is right. I encourage you to develop the habit of doing what is good and what is right. This habit will increase your value and strengthen your quality. You are the proof of quality education when you passionately love your country, perform your tasks, and serve with integrity of heart and skillful attitude, and continuously improve yourself to live the values of being makarios, makatao, makakalikasan, My grand salute to all of our school leaders, teachers, and staff. Likewise, to our benefactors, stakeholders, and education partners. Deped Kabangalan City celebrates with you on this wonderful moment of triumph and blessings for our school community. Echoing the mantra, of Region 6, known to be the home of champions. We believe every learner is a champion. Thank you for all your efforts to commit for the love of service. Para sa bata, para sa bayan. For the many issues and concerns that we face together and we resolve, and for the creative innovation and blessings upon blessings which you shared to our school children. Thank you for bringing out the best in each and every one. 
thank you for making more champions. Once again, congratulations, completers and graduates. To God be the glory. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us all look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Elan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Gepid Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day. Wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations 
parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate and therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, 
as well as in the parent teachers associations you deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back each hug virtually of course and each greeting which i am sure you are also receiving virtually i don't know if uh, you will remember this event many many years from now i have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when i finished high school and when i finished uh, my college studies all i remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message what was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations the happiness and the joy of our parents the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day when i was a college student we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college we would spend one whole day going around the campus visiting the classrooms saying goodbye to our teachers and sharing our uh, memories we would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other we had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to god and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world so many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise nonetheless i will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what i see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall i have said that you are very special you are very different you are pioneering there has been no other class like your class there has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the philippines and so you ask yourself what awaits you in the world outside you can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and under one as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge for further answering and looking for explanations of issues events that are that make you curious especially in science in technology and also uh, in the arts so you can work you can go to further uh, studies and perhaps some of you will settle down uh, hopefully not too soon so you can pursue what you really want to do so today this is why we call it we call this exercise a commencement exercise 
It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you more doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies, during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Division Superintendent, Ma'am Portia M. Mallorca, CESU 5. To our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Nelly Igarote. To our very supportive supervisors of District 5, Sir Faustino T. Padilla Jr. and Ma'am Mary Jo on G. Dion. To our very own dynamic and very supportive. To our Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Portia M. Mallorca, CESU 5. To our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Nelly Igarote. To our very supportive supervisors of District 5, Sir Faustino T. Padilla Jr. and Ma'am Mary Jo on G. Dion. To our very own dynamic and very supportive principal, Ma'am Gracie P. Alagao. To the school heads of the different extension schools. To our head of operations. To my fellow teachers. To our beloved parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant afternoon. It is my honor today to deliver the commencement address for this incredible graduating batch for this school year 2020-2021. It is an overwhelming in my part because I never thought that there will come a time that I will deliver a message for a graduating class as a speaker. This year's theme is Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Pagtagil sa Gitna ng Pandemya. The theme itself highlights the significance of having a quality education amidst the pandemic. Despite the overwhelming consequences of the pandemic, this global crisis has also been an extraordinary time for learning. 
we are learning how adaptable and resilient educational systems, policymakers, teachers, and families can be. Moreover, it serves as the binding force that pushes us to bring forth the right of the children to education as the future of our nation. Your journey towards success is never easy. You must have the courage and the guts to take all the risk on the course of life's battle. Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. And each time you fall must be an opportunity for you to stand strong and be better. Success is also to reach goals you have set. It must be your guiding star. They, they get you out of bed in the morning, and these goals give your life both purpose and meaning. I once dreamed and set goals in life. One is to have a degree in education, land a secure job, and help my family. I never slept and woke up already achieving my goals. I worked for it and had few sacrifices. Today, I would like to share with you the secret behind my sweetest glory. I want, I want to emphasize the word glory, G for goals, because a man without a goal is a stray dog who doesn't know where to go. Your goal will lead you to the entrance of success. L for Lord. You must ask for divine providence, knowing fully well that without him, you are definitely not. O for optimism. Trials, hardships, and pains are inevitable just like the rain. It will pour whether you like it or not. Optimism will be your shining armor and umbrella that will serve as your shield against all odds. Be passive at all times. R for responsibility. If life is a story, there would be a protagonist you who has a very important role to play. You are here not by accident. You are here because you are designed to be who you are right now and you have the responsibility for your own growth and development. And why? For yourself. You have to prepare yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Take care of your body. You can taste the sweetness of achieving your goals if you're lying in bed due to illness. You also can't reach achieving your dreams if you're not physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually ready to face the challenges along the way. Back when I was a high school student of Loriti Dugalang Senior National High School, full of dreams, excitement, and fear. Fear for the unknown future. My father was a barangay tano before and was assigned to duty in Florentino Nugalang for many years. That's why this school has a, very, has a special place in my heart. My mother was a daycare worker and worked as a Bible woman in our church until now. They both helped me for what I am today. As a teenager during the time, my choices and decisions were not perfect. My parents never once failed to offer advices. I realized growing up that the support and mentoring from the parents are vital in the growing years of every child, of every student. Though I was not born from the wealth of family, my parents' income were not enough for our basic and school needs. Only with God's provision that I and my two siblings were able to graduate and now have a degree in education. It is beyond words how proud, how thankful, and proud I am of my parents. I witnessed their sacrifices, struggles, and tears for us to be able to reach the zenith of success. In return, I also study hard and try to be a better version of me for them not to be disappointed. In life, my greatest weapon is prayer. In times of my struggles, pains, kabalayran sa eskwelahan, nga wala sang ibaya dayon, kahit wala sang kwarta, my mother's advice would always be, dirabirahi pangamuyo, 
all things work together for good. And until now, she would always remind me with that statement. Indeed, prayer is powerful. Focusing on the small amount of money earned by your parents, being in poverty, hearing negative comments of other people towards you will only pull you down. It won't help in any means of achieving your dreams. Instead, make all the negativities a challenge. Focus your attention to God. Pray. Make Him as your priority and everything will follow. After many tiring days and sleepless nights, I graduated last April 2017 with bachelor's degree of secondary education, major in biological science as cum laude by God's greatest glory. God indeed doubles and triples his award if he sees our hard work and faith in him. I passed my licensure examination for teachers last September 2017 and by God's grace, he answered my prayer because after nine months, I passed the board exam, I officially became part of Florin E. Miguel. There are still challenges along the way that I will face, but my burning desire to reach my goals will keep me fighting. Hashtag fighting. Hashtag kakayani. Of course, with the help of my family, colleagues, friends, and most especially, God. To all my mentors who became part of whom I am today, thank you so much. And to all graduates, thank God because you passed this level and stay faithful. Thank your parents and teachers. If not for them, you will not be celebrating your success. Graduating in senior high school is not the end. It marks a start of a new challenge, maybe heavier and tougher. Your college journey may not be easy. You will be facing the perils of life. But always remember what Aristotle once said. The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Always be reminded that the Lord is always there for you. The key to everything is to trust God. He has the best plans for you. Just take a step of faith and He will be with you until you succeed. To all graduates of Florentino Galang Senior National High School, sabay-sabay natin sabihin, I am proud of Florentinians, Tata Magala. Congratulations, graduates, on conquering a huge challenge. To one and all, good afternoon. To God be the glory. Our ever dynamic school principal, Mom Gracie P. Alaga. To our invited guests, teachers, staff, parents, fellow graduates, a pleasant day to us. I happened to read a beautiful phrase credited to the Bishop of Geneva, St. Francis D. E. Sims, who lived from 1567 to 1620. He said, Bloom where you are planted. This phrase captured my attention as I was reflecting about my life. God wanted me to realize something from every situation that He planted me. Today, I am inspired to share with Him the three difficult situations in my life that God wanted me to do from them and moved me with fierce thinking and praise in God. My first struggle was our very poor situation. We are 10, and 7 already have their own family. One is working, and two of us are still in school. Our family is financially challenged. My father used to work in a farm, and my mother is a plain housewife. Despite the challenging situation, our parents provided our daily needs, and we are very blessed for their support and guidance. My second struggle was when my father and mother separated. My grade 10 life was the start of something challenging that changed our family. It was a time when my parents separated for some personal reasons. It was a tragic and a heartbreaking event that not all of us can encounter. 
It was our mother who continued to support in my older sister. It was our mother who continued work. She worked as a sugar cane lad at a sugar cane lad to put up a small house made of bamboo in a Hakuniba hut. Later, she worked in Bacolod City as housemaid. At an early age, at, a, at an early stage, I knew how hard it is to live without the presence of mother. My parents were united after a month of separation. We stayed at my mother's house. We barely fit in our home with nothing but her place and compared to the feeling of being with your own family. However, happiness and laughter that filled our house was changed into sadness as our parents started to part again and separated until me. I love both of my parents and I do not have any hatred against them, against them for I believe that things happen with a purpose and I pray that time will, the time will heal for our family once more. My third struggle was about learning from kinder until grade 12, where most challenging part happened. I was not a competent student during my early days in education. I was not able to attend the moving up ceremony during my kindergarten. From grades 1 to 5, I did not receive any awards. And it was during my second grade that I learned to escape classes. And later on, my mother knew about it and she reprimanded me to stop and to focus on my studies. For this is the only treasure she and my father could give to me. Yes, I followed the advice of my mother. And during my sixth grade, I finally got my first award, not an academic award, but as the most industrious in the, in the class. This gives chills to me in my stomach. I feel proud that I achieved something that will give honor to the efforts of my parents. So I continued to perform well in school. and received awards from grade 7 until grade 11. My 12th grade was the most challenging, where everything was new, not just for me, but for all of us that will graduate and move up to school. From the difficulty we encountered in understanding contents of our modules, managing our time to meet the deadlines, and fulfilling our own duties. Much more to students who took jobs to sustain and help their families during this pandemic. With this, I give thanks to Almighty God for the guidance and wisdom, despite the problems I encountered. To my family, especially to my parents, thank you for the unending love and support in my studies. You are the reasons why I am motivated to excel in my studies. And I promise to reach my dreams for our family. To all the teachers and staff of the Rivino Balance International High School, thank you. Because despite this pandemic, you are still there to facilitate and provide education to all of us learners. Thank you for being our second parents that guides and inspires us to work hard and reach our dreams. To my friends, thank you for encouraging me to study hard, for the help in times of emergency, for cheering me up when I am done, for making me as a responsible student and a better version of myself. To my classmates and batchmates, thank you for the wonderful memories 
For a short period of time, we have been together. I will treasure all of you forever. To all who are with us today, wherever we are, whatever situation we are in, don't forget to bloom where you are planted. And do the best with what you have wherever you are. Thank you very much. Congratulations to all of us and God bless us all. Please raise your right hand and follow after me. We, the graduates of Florentino Galang Senior National High School, with solemn sense of responsibility, we pledge ourselves to hold this certificate as a sacred trust, an emblem of my obligation to serve our parents, our school, our community, and our fellow men. So help us God. To all the alumni out there, let us raise our right hand and let us have our oath of alumni. We, the alumni of Florentino Gailang Senior National High School, do solemnly pledge to be loyal to our dear alma mater in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. By guiding light, wisdom, and care bestowed upon us, be our inspiration as we pass through this world of trials. We do hope that success will be ours forever. So help us God. To our dear graduates, and their parents, to each and everyone, this virtual graduation is the byproduct brought about by pandemic challenges that bring worries and fears. Worries of our daily needs in fear to be affected by coronavirus. However, we should be thankful for these experiences because it teaches us to be patient and to be tough. Patient in obeying our health protocols and tough in finding solution to this unfamiliar problem of ours. But it's more than that, that it reminds us to every person to become human. To our teachers and different working committee, thank you for your dedication, time, and effort. To our principal, Mama Lagao, no one could ever miss your, your support and guidance. May God bless us all and good day.